Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. And a lot of times we can really begin to see some of the effects of El Nino beginning to kind of play itself out over the next couple of months here, especially as we get into the latter end of the fall months and the early part of winter. El Nino may begin to show its hand a little bit more overall in our overall weather pattern. We'll see how that plays out here in the weeks ahead. But that said, this evening's going to be nice, though. Nice and mild. Temperatures will slip from the 60s down into the 50s. One thing that will change here over the next couple of hours, you're going to see a few more in the way of clouds begin to build in, and you can even see some of that beginning to take place now off on the horizon as a cool front is scheduled to arrive tonight and bring us some of the chilliest air we've seen so far this early fall. It's 69 degrees right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a nice southwesterly breeze out there at 14. Here's that cold front that I'm keeping an eye on tonight. It's going to come through as a dry front, although we'll see some increase in clouds. The biggest story will be the drop in temperatures that's coming behind it. Today, we topped out at 70 degrees over the next couple of days, particularly over the weekend. Temperatures may struggle for highs to make it into the 50s, and we'll probably see our first frost and or freeze of the fall coming up this weekend as well. So here's a look at temperatures across the Midwest, and they certainly vary depending upon your location. Look at this, 65 in Cleveland. We're close to 70. How about mid 70s, 80s, even 90s? Look at this, 97 down there around Little Rock this afternoon. That heat is not going to make it in our direction. A cooler air though is going to come in out of the Midwest and kind of cut that warmth off and basically allow much chillier conditions. To settle in for the weekend. Now, here's a look at future cast. All in all, the weather's going to be very quiet. There will again be that increase in clouds this evening, but then skies will clear late tonight. As we get into your Friday and Saturday, there may be a few passing clouds from time to time, but that's really about it in the overall weather pattern. I want to show you what's about to happen here because this is going to come into play. Watch the jet stream. There's your warm air to the south, but keep an eye on what happens across the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley over the next two or three days around here. Notice we begin. To develop a big dip in the jet. And remember, basically, the jet stream is really just a dividing line between cool air to the north and much warmer air to the south. And look what's happening across the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley. You see these darker blues and at times even some purple beginning to slide in here. That's representative of the much cooler air that's going to slide its way in. Now, while the core of the coldest air will really stay up across the Great Lakes and into the New England states, we'll be on the fringes of some very chilly air over the weekend. And that's why I say Saturday. Saturday night, Sunday, we could see some frost and freeze conditions across the area before the jet stream heads back north early next week and warmer air is allowed to spill back into the area. So for tonight, 44, the overnight low, partly cloudy skies across the area. It won't be as chilly as it was last night. How about 60 for a high tomorrow? But check that northwest breeze out there at 10 to 15. It will certainly make it feel much cooler. Here's a look at your day planner. 44 at 8 a.m., 54 around lunchtime, and then cruising up close to 60 late. Here's your seven day forecast. Check those overnight lows out there. Friday night down to 35, down to 31. Saturday night, again, that's our greatest likelihood of seeing a frost or freeze. And then look at your highs on Saturday and Sunday, only in the 50s. So if you're going to any haunted houses, maybe doing some corn mazes out there this weekend, dress warm. You'll need the sweater or jackets. And then we kind of rebound and begin to warm up early next week. I have not done a haunted house in forever.